Welcome back to Julie's Coffee Catch-Up. It's been a while, I've been a little bit busy, but I've um, got a great guest today. So today we're up at Helen's Vale um, Golf Club. Uh, no, Bowls Club. Bowls Helen's Club. Vale Golf Club. As you can see in the back, we've got the Bowling Green. And they've had some renovations here, so it's a really good place. We come up to a networking meeting here on a Tuesday. And part of the networking is today is to kind of get to know um, each other a bit more. So Adam Bell is my guest today. And Adam's from um, PodPro Australia. And um, yeah, so he's going to just tell us all about him. I'm going to do my one-on-one, -on -one actually videoing it. So you're going to get to know um, Adam like I am. So there you go. So welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. So I've known you probably now coming to networking groups for about, about six months. Six or nine months, months I'd yeah, say, yeah. yeah. Yep. I first met you down at one in um, Broadbeach. Broadbeach. Yeah. And then we started coming to this one. We're yeah. going both now. Yeah. Twice a week. You get to see twice me. a week, yeah. Yep. So tell me a little bit about Adam Bell. About me? Yeah. What makes you tick? Who are what you? What makes me tick? Well, look, I grew up in Canberra, moved to the Gold Coast uh, in 2000. So I've been here as long as I was, as I was in Canberra now. So I uh, feel like I've half a life in one city, half a life in another. Uh, I am a father of two boys. Yep. Who I have 50 50 with their uh, with their mother, who they, they keep me uh, on my okay, toes. Yeah, two boys. Oh, yes. yeah, 16 and 13. That great age. That great age. Yeah. One's about to get his license. So <laughs> I feel like a bit more freedom is uh, is about to come because I spend my life in the car driving around to, yeah. to sport and, uh, and things. But myself, sport lover, uh, cricket, Aussie rules would be my, my two yep. big uh, passions. I still play. Old man's cricket. Old oh, man's cricket. So veterans. Yeah. Um, Good on you. And uh, so I absolutely love that. But other than that, it's uh, it's business and uh, kids and sport, really. That's, yeah, no, mm. no, I'll keep you going for a while. So yep. you don't do bowls? I don't I do don't, bowls. I obviously don't bowls because I actually called it golf. But my you know. mum does bowls. <laughs> yeah. And um, my, her mother did bowls. She was actually almost an Australian rep. Oh, wow. At one stage. So, yeah, so it's well, in the blood. It is so in the blood. As you're getting older, but, uh, this yeah, will be I get the place to be. So. Bare footballs is good, though. Yeah, that's Bare footballs is. With, with a beer. Yeah, with, with a beer. A beer. Yeah. Mm. So, Pod Pro Australia, I know that you've just got yourself a, um, a new studio down in I Berlin. Have, it's very I exciting. Have. Very exciting. Yeah. So, brand new studio in, uh, in Burley, fully equipped uh, with all the, uh, the latest high-tech gear, video and audio, and uh, podcasting, is, podcasting is what I do. So um, not only your, your podcast that you, you would normally think about, yeah. your entertainment or educational, but I do podcast marketing for businesses, which is something quite new, uh, but um, really, really taking off. So you see podcast guru and I'm doing a coffee catch up on my mobile phone. So it's a bit, you know, a bit intense here with me doing this uh, coffee catch up with Adam because he probably knows way more than me on the tech side of stuff. So we're going to go into that just to see. Um, part of my coffee catch up, Adam, is that I do this to provide value to my clients. So I'm a commercial real estate agent. Obviously, I've got a lot of a lot of business owners who are our tenants, and a lot of business owners who are our, our clients as well. And it's about um, giving information and, and providing kind of people that they can tap into that can help their business to grow and help them to do you know a lot better in business and give them some advice sure. that I can't give them. I can yep. advise them on leasing and sales and management, but I can't advise them on you know very well on the marketing side of things. So. Part of that is what I do, and that's why I do the coffee catch-ups. It's not for me. It's to give to them somebody that they can think, oh, I've seen the video, i watched the video, I really like that person, and I really need some help with this, and they make that phone sure. call. So that's where we're at. So we're going to delve into what, what we know what podcasts are. I listen to podcasts. I think everybody knows what podcasts is. It's not, you know, everybody knows what they are, and you've got your own um, podcasts that you like to follow, and I've got mine you know, adventures and um, people overcoming adversity and mindfulness and all that kind of thing. But from a business point of view, I did look at doing podcasts for myself. I've got heaps of them recorded, doesn't, haven't done anything with them. Sure. Um, but for you, because it's, it's hard, it takes a lot of time to do a, a podcast as a business and owner. And, and, it's, um, and, it, and it takes like 50 million takes to get what you yeah. want to do. So you do that for people though. So just Absolutely. tell me, if I've got and my little cafe owner, not, mm -hmm. not that the cafe on is little, but yep. they've got a, sm a small cafe. They need to do some marketing. They need to do the marketing that's effective. Yep. And they come along to you and say, all right, what are you going to do for me? What sure. are you going to do for them? Well, first of all, maybe don't think of a podcast as you've thought of a podcast where you go there to listen for entertainment purpose mm. and so forth. Podcasting is just creating valuable content. 
So, and it's such a perfect medium in order to be able to get a message across. It's taking over from reading. Nobody reads yeah. anymore. It's a um, thing, eh? It is. And, you know, you get a long email, you look at it, and you know you don't read it. You, you hear from clients who you know you've written something in the, the bottom of the email and you know they haven't read it. Yeah. Um, our brains are just conditioned not to read. Our brains are conditioned to watch short videos now. Yeah. Listen, listen to, to audio. So we're basically replacing blogs, replacing, put, cr creating um, videos and audios where you would have marketed in written form yeah. previously. Yeah. So I run a podcast called My Business where we actually get a business owner in to talk about who they are, what they do, why they do it, why they're the best at it. So you give a business owner an opportunity to talk about you know, uh, their business yeah. and you get authentic, you get genuine content that uh, resonates with, with, with people that people can listen to. Yeah. Um, so podcasting and the, the other beautiful thing about a podcast is you can repurpose it. That's and create right. Yeah. Short videos, short audios, quotes that you can then use all over social media. Yeah. So, look, think about it this way. You can come and spend 20 minutes doing a podcast with me and have content to use every day over socials for, for up to two months. Wow. So that's nice in, in a 20-minute in a um, you know, segment where yeah. you can break it all, all down. So it's so easy to create and you can create blogs from it, um, create email um you know emails from all yeah. from doing pod one, one podcast so it's the new way of be able being able to create uh content in a in a very in the, in the way you know people are consuming it nowadays. yeah so is that reaching reaching your audience and and being able to connect with them absolutely uh, i mean the part of this is that they would get to see who you are mm. they, they know who i am but they'll get to say, know who you are, know a little bit about you and, and have that connection that you don't get with static advertising. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, let me give you an example. Let's just say a, a, a legal firm. Yeah. A legal firm might come to me and do what we might call a put short podcast series, but it's actually just creating content around their business. So yeah. they may have five core uh, services that they offer, so conveyancing, family, family law, contracts, um, uh, then criminal law. Yeah. Uh, and one more. So they'll come and do a short podcast on each of those particular services and talk through everything that a client would want to know about what they offer, yeah. their value proposition. Then onto their website can go a short video, a short audio, and a blog on each of those on services. Of those so things, yeah. anyone who comes to their website can consume that that information in a way that they'd like to, whether that be watch, yeah. listen. Yeah. But also, as we create those, we then create, go and create the social media edits, you know, snippets, the gold, the little nuggets that you can then use to promote your services all through social media. Wow. So, uh, that's pretty pretty awesome. It's, it is. It's pretty it's, awesome. It's, from from one um, podcast that they do. So say you say it takes twenty minutes. So could somebody? I mean. People say, oh, I can't afford somebody to do my podcast or I can't afford to do somebody to do my marketing, which you find and people say a lot. And you say, well, sometimes you can't afford not to do it. Absolutely. Because if you don't market your business, you don't market yourself, then how you could be the best kept secret. Oh. Nobody's going to know no, who you sure. are and what you do. And um, there's people that say that will listen to podcasts that don't go on. Um, they don't, don't go on certain parts of social media because they're not interested, mm. but they love podcasts or they love of different aspects of yep. it. So if somebody was come to you and say, okay, I can do the one-off, but can you offer a, a service? I can't, I can't replicate this. I can't keep doing this. So could, can you offer a service that's ongoing or can absolutely. you do like a one-off? No, an absolutely. We, look, we, we offer from studio hire from someone who's totally competent and wants to just come in and record their own and do it all yep. to the next service where we will create a, we'll do the strategy for you about you know, what topics to do, how to present it, what your audience wants to know, come and create four, four, four in a go, once, what we call bulk, um, bulk recording. Yeah. So come and do four at once a month, then that goes out every week. We'll do the social media. We've even got a package where we'll post the social media for you, yeah. put it onto your website. You can actually have a full marketing program where all you do is come in once a month, once every two months, and just record. Yeah. The rest is done done yeah. for you. So it's about putting a package together that suits the business yeah. needs and uh, at whatever level they're they're at. So absolutely. So, so with I mean, so much, a lot of people don't like being in front of the camera. I must admit, um, at the beginning, it was really like, I'm a very sociable person, but to get yourself on the camera for people to see is very quite could be quite nerve wracking yep. to start with. And a lot of people 
feel that they can't do that. So have you had people come in to you that really want to do it, but then they feel that they can't do it, but then overcome that? Absolutely, and how do you, how absolutely. Do you do and look, with without them? sort of, I guess, blowing my own trumpet, I offer to host a lot of the time and take on the persona of a customer. Yeah. So, and the cameras actually sit in the background. So it's like us having this conversation yeah. here and you don't even notice that the cameras are there. And so I say to every business owner, look, if someone came in and spoke to you over the counter or sat at your desk and asked you questions about your business and what you could offer them, could you answer? And they say, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and that, you know, and that's what it's actually yeah. like. Yeah. And the brilliant thing is you can then present that to your customers through your website, through yeah. your socials, yeah. where they can look at that and it comes across differently than a sales bill too. Yes. We all have to sell with our businesses. Yeah. It's just part of it. Yeah. Some are comfortable with that, some aren't. Uh, but we all have to do it and we do have to get customers to sign up to what we're, yeah. we're offering. Now, um, I find with the podcast, we, we can get that information to a customer when they're not feeling pressured to sign yes. and you're actually warming them up yes. before you get to the point of sign. So yeah. you can overcome a lot of their um, objections, listen to, a, yeah. you know, uh, get a lot of their questions answered before you actually uh, even get to that point of, of actually signing them up. So yeah. I've got a lot of customers now who are recording these pieces knowing that they'll get their initial inquiry from a customer, yeah. knowing they're booking their appointment, their, their sales appointment, if you like, yeah. and they'll drop it in between and yeah. say, here, I'm just going to send you my podcast. Have a quick listen to this before we meet. Yeah, answers Good their idea. question, That's gets right. over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So by the time they get there, they're ninety percent there yeah. already. And they feel like they know that person too, because a lot of it is like so having some integrity and that and that and that comfort knowing the person that you're going to be um, possibly working with. And when you first meet somebody on, you know, if it's a twenty minutes, you know, you go to these places, like oh, I answer a few questions, like it's very formal, and you don't get Absolutely. to know that person or whether or not yep. you're going to gel. Because if you sat mm. in a room with each other on a podcast, yep. you want to feel comfortable as, as much as comfortable as you can be for somebody that's never done it before. Um, but you don't want to be going in there thinking, oh, it's going to be so scripted that it, it doesn't come across yeah, as you. Yeah, and that's what, you know, generally, you know, I work with a business and we do craft a set of questions yeah. knowing as, as a basically a framework. Yeah. But then it becomes a conversation, yeah. as it would if you were talking to a potential customer. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I will get questions that come to mind that I think this is what a customer would want to know yes. when you say that. Yeah. Um, so then answer that question. Mm, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But the other thing too, Julie, is that, um, and the brilliant thing about podcasts, Podcasting, uh, when you're recording this and you're not having a live one-to-one -one sales chat, yep. we can edit it. Yes. You say something that you don't like, yep. that you don't want, yep. actually, I don't like that answer. I, I could have answered that way better. Can we do that again? Yeah, sure. Yep. We just take it out. Yeah. Um, yep. So you get a perfectly crafted message. Yep. Yeah. Um, Where's this go? And again, what I love to sort of, what I love about podcasting when we do this and I do these interviews that, some, you know, we, we know the potential customers are going to listen to. Yeah. When they're answering to me and they know they're not trying to sell me to sign on the dotted yeah. line, it comes, it comes across naturally. very differently. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Which is why this is such a perfect um, scenario to be able to put in front of a potential customer before you do ask them yeah. to sign on the, the dotted line. Yeah. It gets a totally different um, response and even a, an emotional response that, uh, and also gets your energy. Yeah. As I said earlier, you, you come across authentic and genuine and you know, if we, we know that life works on energy. Yes. And no, a lot right. of businesses work off, um, they do business because they, they like me. Yes. Um, yeah. And podcasts get that across. That doesn't come across in an email. No, that's right. It doesn't right. come yeah. across on a, on a written ad. No. Uh, but listening to a voice, listening to, um, you know, or watching a, a video, it, uh, that's what gets it across. So yeah. it's just a, such a cool medium. And the, the last point I probably want to make about podcasting too is, that uh, it's over 90% of people who listen to a podcast, whether that's three minutes, 10 minutes, uh, an hour, is while they're doing something else. They're yes. either in the car, exercising, walking the dog, yeah. or preparing food. Yes. They're, they're, and you're not asking them to, to take time out of their day to listen to your proposition. Yeah. Chuck this on while you're in the car. If you're going to walk the dog, have a yeah. listen to this. So they're going to listen to something anyway. Yeah, if right. you presented it to them in front of them, oh, well, I'll just have a quick listen to that. Yeah. Um, and that you're not asking them to stop and read this email because that's why they don't get to the yeah. bottom of the email. Yeah. I've yeah. got other stuff to do. My, my, yeah. That's right. We're all, so we're all busy. We've all got Podcasting has yeah. a very um, important place uh, in this this digital world that we now yeah. live in and, and how we consume. Uh, and it's got so many benefits and not many businesses are using it 
No, that's yeah. right. And I, and I think a lot of a lot of that would probably be that they're thinking that yeah, as a business, you've got to buy all the podcast stuff yourself. And I've yep. got it. It's expensive. You've got to buy it all yourself, and then you've got to make the time to do it. Then yep. you've got to prep, and then you've got to do this. And, but, mm. and as a business owner, you don't have time to no. do all of that. You just no. want to go. You want the quick fix. You want to go in somewhere, have it done for you. They do everything that you need to do. It comes away in a nice little package. You carry on, and you've only lost a Ab- short period of time out of, your, out of your day. Absolutely. And that's what we're all looking for. Mm. We're trying to save time. No, for sure. And there's so many uses. I, I guess uh, one other, I'll give an example of a, an HR uh, client that I have. So there's so many things. She's an HR consultant. So, yeah. um, I, you know, people call her up and pay for her advice and have memberships and so forth. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether it be an employment contract or, you know, any part of HR. So she's been with me quite a while now, comes in once a month, records six different episodes. Now, they're only five to eight minutes long, but yep. it's on a piece of HR. So why you need an employment contract? Yep. Exit interviews, why aren't you doing them? Yes, um, yes. Why you need, um, you know, a, a casual, why a casual contract needs to be different to a, yep. uh, all of these things. What is an award rate? So she's now got a, a library of a piece of advice on just about every piece that, and every time she gets a client calling up and she gives that advice, she says, oh, by the way, I'm just going to flick you my podcast on um, exit interviews. Uh, There might be a little bit more there. Now, whether they listen to them or not, up pops this little thing on their phone that says she's done a podcast on this particular piece. It puts her as a a person of influence in this this space, and uh, it's just fantastic. Oh, God, yeah. Mm. It's like, have you, I mean, have you ever... Had uh, done an interview with somebody that you actually can't understand. Their accent's so strong because I've got a strong accent, and I think I did a, a video the other day on. Siri. I was having a bit of a, you know, back and forth with Siri because she couldn't understand me. Sure. And have you had people in where you really struggle to understand their well, accent? The answer is yes. However, we've got something to cope with that. Captions. Captions, yeah. Captions go on everything. Yeah. So, so that's uh, perfect because perfect. Well, when I, when I yep. get, when I'm on a roll and if I'm speaking yep. to somebody for, that's from England from yep. anywhere near where I am and I'm on a roll, it goes faster and different. Captions for videos. Out. But look, to be honest, um, you're not that hard to understand. No, no. <laughs> but, but there's um, a lot of people that are. There, you know, there are a lot of people that are. Different nationalities, so different languages. Captions accents. and look, I, I sort of try to manage that too and, and get them to talk a bit slower yeah. and um, you know those that the, there's ways around it yeah. to make sure that. Uh, so um, businesses that come to you, they're not um, you know you know all the different um, are they like new businesses, established businesses, all, the wealthy of people, the not so all wealthy. All sorts, people. all sorts, and right for, across the yep, range. Yep, right across the range, and for for different reasons too. Because as I've said a couple of times. One great thing about a podcast is the, the amount of different different uses you can get yeah. from that one that one piece. Some are coming just to create social media content. They know that the actual full podcast itself probably won't you know won't be yeah. used as as, as much, a, yeah. but it becomes the, the vehicle to create those gold nuggets that do get the yeah. that do get the uh, you know the the engagement of their their viewers. I mean. We also, I mean, I, I like to use the term blogs are dead. No one, li- yeah. no one reads a blog, but you still need them for SEO. Yes. At the moment. That's right. Out of every podcast we create, bang, a blog. Yeah. There you go. Put that on your website. Yeah. Whether someone, someone might read it, I, yeah. we think they're probably going to listen or watch more so, but yeah. guess what? Google loves your blog. They do. That's uh, right. That's so right. you yeah. get yeah. that from it as, as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, you know, electronic EDM. So electronic, um, you know, your, your newsletter. Yes. You create a newsletter from every episode that yeah. you do. So yeah. one so piece just creates, yeah. it can, you know, it's... And, uh, and, then, and you look at that on the value for money um, compared to, to trying to do all of those different mm. things separately. The value for money of doing that, and I know you love your packages and I'm not going to get you to explain sure. how much those packages are because people can contact yep. you to find Absolutely. out what they are. Absolutely, we can tailor anything yeah, to exactly. meet anyone's needs. Um, yep. But the value you get from that one session is huge for oh, marketing potential. For sure, Yeah. For and sure. I can see like, you're so passionate about it because I can just see that smile on your face and it's kind of... I love it, I love and, it. And to have somebody that's so... I'm, I'm really passionate about my business too and I, people think I'm crazy because I eat, sleep, breathe commercial real commercial. estate. But that's factories. what I, I, that's <laughs> what I factories, that's what I love. But to see somebody else that's so passionate about what they do, but what you do is actually help other businesses achieve their goals. Absolutely. And it's not about, you know, it's not necessarily about you and your business. It's about achieving oh, that for other people. Oh, for sure. So that's such a refreshing yep. thing to say. No, and I love so, it. And so, I love it. And, yeah. um, you know, especially, 
it's another really wonderful thing about this. I, I said a lot of people use businesses because of who the business owner yeah. is. It's a wonderful way to get your personal brand out there because if you look at the audios and the videos that we create for social media, yeah. it's all their face, it's yes. all their voice. And yeah. if you create all the, it's, and you have that constant rotation through social yeah. media, you really are projecting someone into a person of influence yeah. um, in a very quick and easy way to, to do this. And yeah. um, I love to see what they get out of that yeah. because a lot of people, uh, I guess, know that they are but don't know how to get themselves seen yeah. that way yeah. in the public That's light right. and this is a really good way yeah. to do it. Best kept mm. secret. Yeah. Brilliant at what you do but mm. not everybody knows what you do. No, so, so there you go. So Adam, thank you so much no, for thank today. thank you. And how did I do for like a not professional podcast no. person, you know? <laughs> I might get you in to host a few sometimes. So, so I'm actually going to have my, do a podcast with Adam. So. I'd be a fool not to, so I'm going to I'm going to join. So watch this space for that. But um, so it's Julie's Coffee Catch Up. So if you do want to get in contact with Adam, how are they going to contact you, Adam? Okay, well you can get in touch with me with at Adam at podproaustralia.com.au is my email. That's Adam at podproaustralia.com.au. Beautiful. Website www podproaustralia.com.au Thank you. And uh, yeah, we've got the studio in Burley. I know. Come, come and check us out. Have a look at that. So I'll be do, taking a video of the studio in Burley to show you that we've been down there. So thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.